Good evening, I'm Mike Brooks. I'm Kara Larson. Here's some of the latest news from Two Works for You. We do have some good news tonight here in Green Country on Tulsa's first coronavirus case. Health officials say that he has made a complete recovery. Now they tested him twice to confirm this. We learned last Friday the Tulsa County man in his 50s had been at home with the illness since returning from a trip to Italy. Now he works from home, so health officials say that his limited that limited his exposure in the community. This, as we learned of a third case of coronavirus here in Oklahoma, an airman at Altus Air Base. As people are told to stay home to stay safe right now, Tulsa small businesses may see an impact as fewer people eat out or shop in stores. A part owner of Tulsa's R Bar and Grill is concerned about the domino effect. Bill Grant says that he believes the biggest impact will be people canceling their trips, hotels not filling their rooms, and customers not coming to his business to eat and watch games because the games have been canceled or postponed. If our servers aren't making money, then they're not going out and buying something at a retail shop, and then that person in the retail store didn't get to work as many hours, and then they're not going to dinner across the street at Mondo's, and then, you know, it just goes on, on and on. The federal government plans to help. President Trump announcing last night that the Small Business Administration will make low-interest loans available to businesses to try and help them weather the coronavirus storm. One pharmaceutical company says it's getting closer to developing a vaccine for COVID-19. We really don't have two or three years to wait for a vaccine. So that's where we come in at Anovio Pharmaceuticals. We use DNA medicine technology. Anovio Pharmaceuticals has made headlines before by creating vaccines for Zika, Ebola, and now the coronavirus. Chinese researchers shared the genetic sequence of the coronavirus, and Anovio designed a vaccine in three hours. The company hopes to test on humans next month. Temperatures starting out on Friday are going to be chillier in the 40s across northeast Oklahoma. Showers moving into the area, off and on showers throughout our Friday. The heavier rain looks to hold off until Friday night and Saturday morning. But either way, look at it. Friday is going to be wet. Saturday, good chance for showers and storms early uh, until about lunchtime. And then Sunday looks good. And then more rain likely Monday and then again Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. For more news and weather, just go to our website or our mobile app. Our Two Works Morning team will help you start your day at 4.30 a.m.